like one of them needles. Yeah. That's, you gotta have that number. Yeah, it went all the way up. So it took them four days. Four days. With six guys and they had a high lift. You gotta have a high lift to get up to the top of the tower. Definitely. Yeah, I weighed myself again last night. I'm down to 245. Okay, these two guys here are uh, attaching the collar to the rope. Here we go. You can see the blue coating. You can definitely see a good coating on the rope. So. Alright, that's the forklift right there that's going to be pulling the collar back towards the aft towards, side. Towards the aft side. Stern. Stern, I mean, yeah. Stern. Them. We're gonna run out of room in a second. They should be able to pull it now. What's difficult about this is not so much getting it across. This is easy with the forklift. It's getting the lines across the, the, the distance of the boom, across those ropes. The rope has to have, the collar has to have one 
pull line on it and one return line on it. And routing the lube hose so it doesn't snag on anything like the, the stab wire. So it's got to be between the two cranes as far as the boom's concerned, but over the stab wire. And then the lube hose goes in between the shivs at the top of the, the crane. Now they could probably pull it, is that on? They could probably pull it by hand right now and return it because we've loosened the no knobs on the collar, but they're using the forklift on the other side to take it up the rest of the way. He keeps running out of room. Yeah, he runs out of room on the stern of the ship, so we, um, it'll take probably one more pass to get it done if he backs up some more. But um, then they'll reattach it to the other top rope and we'll, we'll do another run. Once we get this down, each run takes about 10 minutes. See, he's got the forklift down there. He needs to come all the way back to the end, back right back here to the base of the crane. He can do this in two trips. At this point, we've been doing it, we're doing it in four trips. So he has to pull with the forklift. He has to pull with the forklift and then pull some more, so. Okay, here we got the finishing, the final round of the, the return back to the, the base of the crane. Now they're going to disconnect it. Disconnect that collar. Uh, they're just getting used to the collar, so it might take them a few minutes. So disconnect that collar. We didn't, we didn't lose a whole lot down here. Then they'll reconnect it to the, uh, to the other top rope. Okay, they've got it um, attached now to the other rope. Okay, that has shut the uh, flow control valve off the discharge. I know you're dizzy right now, right?
Yeah, he's now pulling it up by hand. Quarter of the pail just feeding the hose. Yeah. Um, we use probably a quarter pail lubing rope so far. Let's get a good shot. This time. Bring it on in. Okay. We haven't used hardly any any lube. So it, it's probably a good estimation that the 12 pails that they ordered would probably see them through not only the boom ropes but also the hoist ropes easily. Now I'm not sure about the forward cranes though. But we've hardly used any move at all, so I think they're pretty safe. 